it's happening. Brace yourselves, introducing experiences for people 17 and older, straight from Roblox themselves. This right here is a real Roblox blog post, not lying, not edited, nothing like that. Games on Roblox can now be 17 plus, like they can be rated to be 17 plus, which means unless you are 17 years old or older, obviously, you cannot enter these games. That's insane for something like this to exist on Roblox. I feel like we've been waiting for this forever, now it's finally here. So please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And very quickly, please join my Discord server, the invite code is Clagans and there is a link in the pinned comment. Yeah, there is no way that this can be clickbait or anything like that. 17 plus games are finally here on Roblox. I don't know how long it's gonna be until it's like 18 plus games, but as of right now, or as of like a couple of days ago, I don't know how I somehow managed to miss this, Roblox now allows 17 plus games on the platform. Introducing experiences for people 17 and older. So we know that for quite a while now, we have had the ability to rate our games or like for developers to rate their games with an age rating where basically they go through a questionnaire about their games. They answer some things about like blood or the contents of the game. And then from there, it was automatically rated either suitable for all ages, something like nine plus and then 13 plus. And that was literally the only only options. Today they are expanding their guidelines to include ages 17 and older so I don't really know what's gonna be like a deciding factor on whether a game is 13 plus or 17 plus. I don't know what the difference between those two things will be. Interesting, very very interesting they do say the fasting growing age group on Roblox is 17 to 24 year olds and in 2022 38% of the daily active users were 17 and over. I I know that some people instantly will try to debunk that and say that, you know, kids lie about their age all the time, but going by this, it seems to only be working on the fact that people who verify their age are 17 plus. So 38% of the daily active users on Roblox last year was 17 and over. That's almost half of the entire platform. So as a natural evolution, they are now allowing creators to make content specifically for this audience only those who are verified that they are at least 17 will be able to create or consume these experiences. We all know by now, like with the whole voice chat fiasco, we know very well that to verify your age, you do need to give Roblox your ID and then also a selfie of yourself. It sounds ridiculous, but that's the way that it works. For me, I don't think I'll ever do that. And I know that so many people are in the same boat as me. They just don't want to do that. They don't want to give that to Roblox. So unless you do do that, you do verify your age, you're not going to be to enter those games. So even though I am over 17 and probably some people watching this video right now are also over 17, if we don't verify our ages, we still can't enter those games, which is, I guess it's a good measurement to take and it's absolutely necessary because if you have a game that is 17 plus, it's 17 plus for a reason. You don't want people who are like nine entering the game, but still kind of sucks for the people that are over 17 and don't want to verify. But I guess what else can you do to get around that? Creators will be able to offer experience is for those 17 and older that feature more mature themes and storylines like in TV shows or stand-up comedy. These experiences may contain more violence, blood or crude humour. You can read more about what's permitted here. That is exactly what we want to look at. But first, this is pretty much what it's going to look like if a game is rated 17 plus. The game, as an example, is Beyond the Dark. Under the title of the game, it already says age is 17 plus. You click on the game and then it tells you in age guidelines 17 plus. If you press on that, it gives you a little bit more information about why the game was rated 17 plus and for this one there is realistic and heavy blood intense and frequent violence and also moderate crude humor so this is going to be one of the coolest games on the platform of roblox because we have never seen something like that allowed inside of a game usually they probably would have taken a game like this down but now that it can be rated 17 plus it's allowed up on the platform roblox themselves allow it and approve it as long as you know it's rated appropriately and only people who are 17 plus and verify can get into the game. That's unbelievably cool. So here now we have all ages 9 plus, 13 plus and 17 plus. They say that content is only suitable for ages 17 and up, may contain intense violence, heavy realistic blood, moderate crude humour, romantic themes, unplayable gambling content and slash all the presence of alcohol. All of those things previously 
would have been banned from Roblox, like the game would have just been put under review and unless you take those things out of the game it wouldn't have been able to go public again, it would have stayed private forever, it would have been content deleted pretty much. And now it's allowed just like that, like this is one of the coolest updates I think we have ever seen and it's still kind of a shame that you do need to verify to be able to enter those games but at the same time, it's good that they're taking these precautions to make sure that people under 17 can't get into them. So please, the comments is the place to go. Tell me what you guys think about Roblox finally allowing games for 17 plus and the content inside of them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.